Now let's proceed to question number 49. It states that if x raised to the power 76 plus 77 is divided by x plus 1, then the remainder is out of these four options. So, you know how to find the remainder. You can use long division method or else the best way is using remainder theorem. So, if I apply here remainder theorem, then I could write by remainder theorem, by remainder theorem, in this case, the remainder will be given by here you are dividing this quantity by this quantity x plus 1 and when x plus 1 is equated to 0 you get value of x as minus 1. To get the remainder using remainder theorem I substitute x as minus 1 and it is raised to the power 76 plus 77 minus 1 raised to an even power it gives me the value equal to 1, 1 plus 77 it is equal to 78. So, in this case you will definitely obtain the remainder equal to 78. So, out of these four options I could clearly say that the remainder is 78 which is present in option number 4. So, answer for this question is given by option 4. I hope it is clear to you. Let us take up our next question. Here I have question number 50. It states that if a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 0 where a, b, c are rational numbers, the number of triplets of a, b, c is out of these four options that is 5, 2, 1 and 0. So, when you observe this given expression a square plus b square plus c square equal to 0, we are talking about these squares which are non-negative quantities and when we are taking sum of three non-negative quantities and the sum total is equal to 0, then how it is happening? If you are taking sum of three non-negative quantities, the sum could be 0 only when all three of them are equal to 0. So, in this case, if I say a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 0, then this is possible only when a as well as b as well as c is equal to 0. So, only possible triplet in this case for a, b, c is of 0, 0, 0. So, we have only one possible triplet in this case which is given by 0, 0, 0. So, you can definitely mark the required answer as the number of triplets of a, b, c is 1. That is present in option number 3. You can write the answer for this question is option 3. I hope it is clear. Let us take up our next question. Here I have question number 51. It states that if the radius of a circular park is a non-zero rational number, then its perimeter is always a or an. We have these four options which states it could be a rational number, rational number, integer or whole number. So, let us talk about a circle which is having the radius as a non-zero rational number. Then how you can obtain its perimeter? Perimeter of a circle is given by the formula 2 pi into r where r is the radius. Here if the radius is equal to 0, then 2 pi into 0 the perimeter will reduce to 0 that is a rational number. But if we are talking about a non-zero rational number in place of the value of r, pi is irrational, irrational number pi into any non-zero rational number will result you an irrational number. So, this is definitely going to be equal to an irrational number. So, in this case, the perimeter is an irrational number. So, out of these four options, we can definitely select our answer to be option number 1. You can write here the answer for this question is option 1. I hope it is clear to you. Let us take up our next question. 